we offer so many different services and it, together all as one it, like it's to make it as a unit we, it's a non-profit agency we're not out here to make money we're here to keep people in jobs and to create more jobs uh, we have a the gift store the framing business that's already been lucrative and that we're bringing back and the outdoor crew so combined with all these different things that we do it, we need all the parts to make it functional Stephanie, for the uninitiated, somebody says, what is Stepping Stones? What does it mean to you and what is it? How can you define Can you define it, really? Well, it's Stepping Stone Services is, is hard to define because it is such an interesting agency. It's a non-profit organization that supports people touched with mental illness. Through job support, we offer very compassionate, patient job opportunities. And we're very supportive in, with the people that we have. And it helps them get that self-esteem going. Having a job creates self-esteem. It, it just does because you have a place to go, you have something to be proud of to look at the work that you've done. Well, it, and it's an opportunity for, for me and my staff to uh, find employment and to uh, better ourselves and uh, contribute to society. It, there, there's a notion that working in the regular grind is a bit difficult. What what does Stepping Stones do for you that, that is different from uh, regular workplaces? Well, Stepping Stones it gives us the uh, the opportunity to, to work, but it's also a very lenient in the sense that you can take a day, you know, when you need a day, or when, when things are slow, you could just back, back off a bit or whatever. And it, it gives us that opportunity that we're not every day nine hours a day it would just be too stressful for a lot of the employees well, what would you do if, if there was no stepping stone we we wouldn't be working there's no other opportunity like like stepping stone what does the atmosphere here do to, to make it conducive like to make you want to like what do they do here to make you want to work here well it's just I mean, the way you're treated marcel oh well, we're treated we're treated fair we're treated like people um there's there's no there's no barriers here um, it's an uh, open door policy. If we got issues, we discuss it. Um, no, no problems that, that I can uh, see. Funding is difficult. Uh, when you apply for a Trillium grant, it, the procedure is, is tough to do. And we were really lucky that we have had a number of people, uh, Catherine Main, uh, Kathy, uh, Linda Beaupre, and, and Leanne Lefebvre, who put this thing together a lot, a lot of hours. Because they, there's a format that you have to follow. You have to make sure you do the right thing because you're not always going to get a grant, so it, it was a lot of work. And this is it, this hasn't been an easy go. I mean, no, you were at, at the corner of Jane and, right. and, and Maine, and yeah, what we did, we, we were always in the hospital building. We paid no rent. We had. Uh, their staff would do the mental health part of it. Uh, Mitch is here again today, which is going to continue doing that part of it. That's what's great. That's the deal we have with the hospital, do the mental health part. But we, and when we went on our own, we have to again pay, pay rent, heat, hide, hide, whatever it takes. And so without it, we, without this grant, we could not have opened this store. We just don't when you, make When you look money. at the future, I mean, today is very important. You were able to secure Trillium funding. You're able to open your storefront. But Trillium is a, is a short-term yes. funder. Yes. Uh, what happens from that point? Okay. Once this Trillium grant is finished, we will have to make, raise enough money in the community by our work and our people that work for us to pay rent, to pay the job, the manager's position. And so we need work. We need all the work we can get because we, we struggle. Without the grant, we would be in trouble because we struggle. It's hard to find enough work in this community to pay wages, rent, and that's why we're hoping the framing store and the store will offset that. Because and, and it's important to have this for your clients. Oh, right. Where would they be without this store? Well, if they're not working, they're going to be sitting at home watching TV. And it's and, and there's prime example. There's a number of people here that work for us who two years ago wouldn't look you in the face, wouldn't talk to you, very shy, very, you know, having problems. They're happy. They're out working. They feel good about themselves because our people do good work. When we, our people do good work. If it's cleaning, if it's doing garbage runs, um, cutting grass, and snow removal, uh, painting, we have some good employees who just cannot go and work 40 hours a week in the community. But they can work anywhere from 2 to 15, 20 hours a week and, and make some money, feel good about themselves. 
Prime example is Marcel, uh, our, our supervisor, our outdoor supervisor. He's a great worker, but he's not, not going to go out and work in the community full time. But he does a great job with us working 15, 25, 30 hours a week because he can do a lot of things. But he finds uh, This is a great stressful. opportunity now for um, the members uh, to be able to work here, to be able to uh, participate in the business itself, whether it's uh, uh, art crafts or in the framing business. You know, Trillium had provided money in the past for uh, this, this for stepping stones basically. They have a uh, snow removal business, they have a lawn cutting business, but now they have a storefront and an office facility. Uh, they used to be located out on uh, Jane Street and Gormanville Road. Um, that funding uh, collapsed and now they have a place to call home again and it gives all of their members a chance to participate, give some great job experience. Uh, we heard earlier, you know, you can't get a job without experience and these are people who are suffering from mental health uh, issues. It gives them a, a comfortable place in, uh, to, to call home, to gather their strength, to learn a, a craft and to be able to go out and work productively in the work. Well, mental illness affects uh, one in four Canadians and and we, we have a priority in our city called Healthy Communities where everyone has equal access and equal opportunity to succeed and to, to gain full employment. But it's also an awareness, a compassion um, piece that we have to focus on for mental illness. And we as a city want to be very inclusive and that's what we're striving for. Stepping Stones is doing a tremendous job in, in stepping up that and providing these opportunities for individuals. We as a community, we as leaders need to stand up and stamp out the uh, stigma of mental health and say that, you know, listen, we need to work with everyone to find opportunities um, and to bring an overall understanding of how we deal with all the issues that we have in front of us.